I would like to introduce a fourth new invention. So far, we have introduced chopping knives, dishwashers, and toilet bowl. The fourth invention is the invention of a urinal in a public toilet. The cleaning method is similar to the toilet announced just before. The title of the invention is a system for cleaning scattered urine and a method for cleaning scattered urine using the same. By installing simple mechanical devices around urinals in public toilets such as subways, hospitals, hotels, restaurants, and cafes, many people can benefit from science and technology. Thanks to the simple mechanical effect, the odor in the toilet from the urinal, which has been inconvenient for many people, can be completely eradicated. The cleaning person has to let the robot do the work and only monitor the machine's operating status. And after soaping the floor around the urinal, the cleaning person may scrape the dirt off the floor with a brush once a week. Most of the older people have symptoms of enlarged prostate, so no matter how hard he tries, his body won't listen to him. So he will urinate little by little out of the urinal. At this time, a lot of urine accumulates, causing a foul odor that stings the nose. Public toilet cleaners remove odors from time to time by wiping with water, which is considered too unreasonable. They are wasting valuable human labor. If the robot cleans on behalf of humans by circulating water for about two minutes each time at 30 minute intervals, the toilet can be much more sanitary and cleaner than now because the machine's labor capacity is much superior to that of humans. Figure 4 is a view looking into the floor around the urinal from the side. A water tank of a sustainable size, such as a 153, is installed under the bottom of the urinal. As the valve 112 closes by the timer, the open circuit changes to a circulating circuit. Also, the valve 119 opens and closes briefly by a timer, supplying about 100 liters of water to the water tank 153 and a little disinfectant is added. As the electric motor pump 115 operates, water is sprayed on a 120 part, and since the floor around the urinal is inclined, the sprayed water descends along the inclined line of the floor and goes down through the hole 171. The water flowing down from hole 171 pools again in the water tank 153, which is the original position, and the electric motor pump 115 brings the water up to the 120 part again, and the disinfectant drug circulates repeatedly for about two minutes. At this time, the disinfectant flows over the floor around the urinal for about two minutes, cleaning the scattered urine. After about two minutes, the operation of the electric motor pump 115 is stopped by the timer and the valve 112 is opened, circulating for about two minutes and the dirty disinfectant is discharged through the outlet. The timer repeats the same process all day every 30 minutes, so odors and germs can no longer be parasitic in the bathroom. 130 in Figure 4 is a dam with a height of about 10 centimeters that prevents water from flowing to other places. 151, 153, and 155 in Figure 4 are stepping stones to prevent people's shoes from getting wet. According to a rough calculation, the water bill for 100 liters of water is about 5 cents, and the electricity bill consumed by the electric motor pump for about 2 minutes is about 1 cent. Figure 2 is a view looking down on the floor around the urinal from above. 153 and 155 are stepping stones that resemble the shape of a human foot. Users that are uncomfortable with stepping stones can urinate in the toilet. If an electric motor pump is installed in each urinal, the facility cost will increase, so it is necessary to design a toilet with only one electric motor pump and one water tank. The disadvantage of this method is that the construction cost is high in the beginning because it is necessary to dig up the bathroom floor and install an electric motor pump and a water tank there. The advantage of this method is that there is no need to worry about the additional cost due to frequent failures after installation because there are almost no breakdowns of mechanical parts these days. Also, since electricity and water bills are not burdensome, once installed, clean toilets can be provided to many people for several decades without significant financial burden. The invention to be introduced next is about the waste disposal method. We hope that you will show a lot of interest. Thank you very much for watching despite your busy schedule.